I'm Samuel Wilkinson. I'm an industrial designer. Um, that's me outside my old studio, um, uh, just around the corner from where Alice lives, actually, Indeed. in Bethnal Green. Um, that's some of the work that we used to have, well, in my old studio on the shelf, but I, a lot of the time I display a lot of the projects I have around the studio because it's always good to be inspired by your own work rather than others. Um, there's also lots of projects that don't ever get to see the light, so it, it, it's always interesting to kind of display even for yourself. Um, my new studio is in Dalston, which is in East London, which is 184 miles away from Blackburn. Um, I, I often like to kind of show things of where I come from, because it's just showing context, and that is kind of intrinsic in my work. This works better if you're going to speak in Hong Kong, but um, yeah, anyway. So the three main principles of my work are context, character, and process. By context, I mean how we relate to an object as a human, where it sits in our lives. Also, I like to understand where the thing I'm designing will sit in present and then in history, in the kind of landscape of the type of product that it's going into. Also, character, I try to install, if possible, a, a, a unique, um, fresh vision, if possible. Um, and then process is very much about, depending on what the project is, we'll kind of design the process to fit the, the project, depending on um, what size or, or, or the context of it. Um, it's easy to explain through the, the projects that I'll show you. I'll quite rattle through them, because I know we're kind of quite short of time. So, uh, um, yeah, so after graduated um, in furniture-related product design, um, I went to uh, work for kind of large international consultancies for five years, designing things from consumer electronics to airline seats. Um, to public realm. Um, it's very interesting for me to come out of furniture design and, and work for these uh, large consultancies working with huge clients, but I became a little bit disillusioned by, um, especially in the consumer electronics, you would work really hard, stay up late, do these amazing presentations, and they would just be a, a kind of, uh, you'd just be a servant to the industry that this lovely piece of design would then just disappear into their inspiration, and then they would just use it um, to inspire their own designers. Um, so, like 80% of the work from these large consultancies would just end up as a document and not end up as an actual real product. Um, and that was kind of frustrating for me. I wanted to design things that actually became something physical and tangible. So I decided to start my own um, uh, consultancy. My first project was with uh, a friend of mine from Ravensbourne. Um, he was in Lausanne and he heard about this um, public square that was going in into the town in a new development. Um, and there was a proposed project of this standard square with paved stones and a three by three trees, really boring. Um, and we had an opportunity to pitch something a bit more interesting. Um, so our first thought was, can, we were looking at um, different public squares and looking at kind of villages and how sometimes they're surrounded by this huge oak tree in the middle. Um, so we first thought, can we plant a big oak tree in the middle of this town square? And they said, well, no, that's possible because um, there's no foundations, you can't, um, there's no foundations and space for the root structure. So instead of being able to plant something, we, we decided we'd, we'd make something. So we ended up making this 16 meter metal tree um, that was kind of gnarly and a bit kind of asymmetrical with, with this um, large canopy that is designed to give patterns depending on the path of the sun. Um, and then we covered the floor in a red rubber floor so it was very soft as you walked onto it. And then each of the roots that come out from the center snake out into different pathways. So they all, the actors are kind of signifier to draw people into the square because they just poke out from different parts. Um, so that was quite an interesting start to my journey. Not necessarily um, either furniture design or product design, but just really interesting in the same. Um, and, and then often when you do those things, you get to get part of the, 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 the marketing. So we kind of had everybody dress up in Tyvek suits and then become part of uh, somebody from Lausanne. And I got the short straw of sitting up in the tree, which was a little bit scary. 